Welcome, fellow travelers and adventure seekers. Today, we embark on a mesmerizing journey from the bustling city of Hanoi to the enchanting perfume pagoda, a spiritual and natural marvel nestled in the heart of Vietnam. This one-day trip promises a perfect blend of cultural immersion, breathtaking landscapes, and a serene escape from the urban hustle. Now we recently have a short break on the way to Perfume Pagoda and this is our lunch everyone and this one is a serving we call Cơm Bình Dân This one is similar like our daily meal We have the fried soybean, some Vietnamese sausage, fried tofu, white rice and maybe we also can have some salad, cucumber and chicken Just simple like that Yes, and from here to go to Perfume Pagoda it takes more than 5 kilometers. You also can see the sign over there in this local restaurant. That's a map, right? So we have the two rivers, Dai River, Yin River. And we're also gonna go sailing on the boat there and visit several Asian pagodas on the mountain. Yes. Alright, see you then. So everyone, we recently got the ticket, yes, for our uh, boat right here, and then it also has a judgment. After going this service, we also can leave our judgment review, yeah, also has a hotline. If some special case happens, you also can contact with the manager, yes. So this is our boat today, everyone. So, let's see! Em là chị. Em lên nha. Thank you. The Perfume Pagoda, or Chua H Degrees Inverted Exclamation Point NG in Vietnamese, is a captivating complex of Buddhist temples and shrines, nestled amidst the scenic Huong Sun, Perfume Mountains, about 70 kilometers southwest of Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. This sacred site holds significant religious and cultural importance and is considered one of the most revered pilgrimage destinations in the country. The journey to the Perfume Pagoda is an integral part of the experience. Travelers typically embark on a picturesque boat ride along the end stream, surrounded by limestone mountains and lush vegetation. The name Perfume Pagoda is derived from the scented aroma that is believed to emanate from the many fragrant flowers that bloom in the area. Hello everyone, Tony and Emma, now we are on the Yen River and after this we're gonna go to Thien Chu Pagoda, one of the ancient temples on the mountain in front of us here. So what does it mean? Uh, Thien means heaven, Chu means kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it means that it's a, yeah, the kitchen of the heaven and it's also become one of the most notable pagodas for the pilgrims. They also yes, rely go sailing slowly on the river on the manual boat like this. So it's very relaxed, very chilling. And we also have some step inside and also can go ship for some uh, Buddha, Bodhisattva, over there. Okay, so. so let's go. Hello everyone. So we recently got off uh, the boat and uh, we also on the way to the Tian Chu Pagoda but in front of us a lot of the how say a lot of the local store like this and they also selling some white animals. There is a baby turtles and over there some small fishes. So maybe you're gonna have a question why we capture some of them here because uh, in Vietnam we also have the belief that some of the pilgrims, yes, yeah, the disciples, the disciplines also can have some of them and release in the river right here. That also becomes a good behavior. Yes. So 
So you guys, you also can look at here. There is a map of uh, the old perfume pagoda. It has so many pagodas, but today we don't have enough time, and we just visit the uh, one of the most famous place that is a uh, Tian Chu pagoda and some other place. Maybe we gonna go back later, like the Hương Tích pagoda on the top of the mountain. Maybe next time we're gonna visit. Because today is also quite late and Hanoi is quite cloudy. Then we just take a day trip, a, a boat trip to visit a part of it. But also we enjoy you guys. So we're gonna have some step on this the stone stair and also look at the view of the pagoda later. After several days of strenuous work in Hanoi, today we decided to take a day off and visit the Perfume Pagoda, one of the oldest and most revered pagodas in northern Vietnam. Due to time constraints, we only had enough time to relax on a small boat along the Yen stream to visit the main pagoda called Thien Tru, Heaven Kitchen Pagoda. After exploring the main Thien Tru Pagoda, we only had sufficient time to return to Hanoi before it got too late, and that's why we couldn't visit the Huong Tich Cave. We hope that someday, when we have more time, we will introduce you to other scenic areas of the Perfume Pagoda. We appreciate your understanding. For now, let's together admire a glimpse of the beauty of this place. So along the way to the pagoda, you can see that the local people, they also dry many kinds of the fruit like this, the black ones. So do you think this is a cuisine, yes, ingredient for cooking? No, it's not. So this one, the fruit we call locust, and we also use it to wash our hair. We're going to boil them with the water nearly a half of hour, take the liquid brown and then wash the hair. Yes, that is the main function of the locust fruit here. Right, so you also can see that the so mother nature also become a rich source of the herbal medicine and we also maintain it until now, yes. The Perfume Pagoda complex comprises a series of pagodas, shrines and caves, each with its unique charm and historical significance. Among the prominent structures is the Thien Tru Pagoda, perched against the mountainside, showcasing intricate architecture and serving as a focal point for pilgrims. One of the highlights of the journey is the Huong Tich Cave, also known as the Cave of the Fragrant Traces. This cave holds religious importance, and stalactites inside are believed to emit a subtle fragrance. Pilgrims visit this cave to seek blessings and spiritual fulfillment. The pilgrimage to the Perfume Pagoda is not only a religious and cultural experience, but also an opportunity to immerse oneself in the natural beauty of the surroundings. Limestone casts, dense forests, and flowing rivers contribute to the serene ambience, creating a harmonious blend of spirituality and nature. The Perfume Pagoda Festival, which takes place from January to March in the lunar calendar, attracts a multitude of pilgrims and tourists. During this time, the complex comes alive with vibrant colors, traditional rituals, and a lively atmosphere. It's a time when locals and visitors alike come together to celebrate spirituality and partake in the rich cultural heritage of Vietnam. Visiting the Perfume Pagoda provides not only a glimpse into Vietnamese Buddhism, but also an opportunity for introspection and tranquility amid the stunning landscapes. Whether you're a religious pilgrim or a curious traveler, the Perfume Pagoda offers a profound and enriching experience that resonates with the soul.
Hi guys, so today is just a day trip uh, for me and Tony. That's why it's gonna be time to say goodbye. But I also want to say that uh, Perfume Pagoda is also very amazed about the surreal landscape after a hard working day. So we just spent several hours here to um, also pilgrimage and also enjoy the beauty of nature. It's not enough because the perfume complex is so huge and for sure next time we're also gonna come back and show you more area like Hương Thích Pagoda and the cave over there. And I also hope that with the short tour today also inspire you to explore some other beauty outskirts of Hanoi. Guys, what is so many white fishes? And our boat also coming. <laughs> Time for Emma to board the boat. Time to go back. Now remember, keep the balance. Sure. Em lên nha chị nha. Yes, it's so fascinating to also get an, uh, how I say, for the experience, even it's just a, a day to a day trip. But we also can uh, relax and also enjoy the fresh air and then um, also pray worship to the Buddha, to the gods right here. Yeah, also part of the peace inside ourselves and also recharge the energy to come back yeah, for our work. work. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So Emma's hungry everybody. She still eating, keep eating. Whenever she have chance. Yeah. So everybody, now we are finishing the tour to Perfume Pagoda and now we are getting close to the harbor. And Emma, it's time to get ready, right? Keep staying and then the row will show you the way how to get off the boat. So good. Okay, Emma. Let's go. Say goodbye. Thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay.